After a year of protests and demonstrations on both the left and the right, there's a growing sense that on Tuesday night, political divisions could possibly boil over into clashes on the streets as the 2020 election results come in. We'll be vigilant and we'll take care of any problems that arise, but for people to be aware of what's going on around them and try not to be in the middle of it so that they don't end up um, as a victim or, you know, in the middle of a group that they're not expecting to be. Sacramento Sheriff Department spokesperson Sergeant Rod Grassman says starting this weekend, his agency is scheduling extra hours for some of its deputies. What we do do during uh, around national events or national disasters is that we move to 12 hour shift model rather than have a 10 hour. That extra two hours on a shift means more deputies will be available if needed. Free up resources and personnel uh, in case mutual aid is called or something unexpected happens that we are prepared. Similarly, the Sacramento Police Department released this statement to Fox 40 stating extra officers will be available, quote, to monitor any protests or disturbances that may occur in conjunction with the elections. As with any protests or demonstrations that occur in our city, rolling road closures may be enacted if the demonstration becomes mobile. And the Downtown Sacramento Partnership is releasing a list of best practices for election night to its members, many of whom have already boarded up their stores and restaurant windows because of an increase in protests downtown during this year's social justice movements. As for any issues at the polls, Sergeant Grassman says those need to be reported to the county's election board, not to 911. They are in charge of elections. They set all of that up. They monitor that and they would be the ones to call. While law enforcement may be preparing for the worst this Tuesday, most are hoping for the best. One of the great things about our democracy is that, and we are the envy of the world for it, is that we have peaceful elections and we have peaceful transfers of power. We're expecting that uh, this time around also.